Hi guys, welcome back to a new iMons video. In this video, we'll be talking about junior question 4 slash senior question 1. So let's kind of look at the problem. We have a trapezium with two parallel sides with side lengths m and n, where m and n are integers. So we need to prove that it is possible to divide the trapezium into several congruent triangles. Now, before we start discussing about anything about trapeziums, let's consider a triangle first, because this triangle will come in very handy when we're doing this problem, okay? So consider a triangle of, say, base 1, right? We say it has the base is 1 unit. We do not care much about the other two lengths, okay? So say we, we want to create a uh, similar triangle, okay? And then we want to have it have a base of length 2. So what you would do is you would double the length, something like this. So if this is 1, then this would be 2. Then we can cut this part out. We can cut this trapezium up into like something like this. So for the first, so if we if our triangle has one layer, then it only has one small triangle. And then if our uh, triangle has two layers, then it can be cut up into, we see here, 1 plus 3 equals to 4 equals to two square triangles, right? And then we add one more layer, so this is the same as this over here, and then something like this. Okay, so you see that we can cut up into five more smaller triangles. So if we have we have a base length of three, we can cut it up into one plus three plus five equals to nine equals to three square layers, right? So we can repeat this process repeatedly, and we can get uh. So for uh, any triangle, okay, let's write something. Uh, so a small conclusion here. So small conclusion. So for a triangle with a base length n, it can be cut up into n square smaller congruent triangles. Okay, so something like this. This is this just means congruent. Okay, so we have a ba a triangle of say base n, right? Now, uh, we can let our m, we can let our m over here vary anywhere from a one to maybe say n minus one, right? So the strict definition of a uh, trapezium, as you can see here, is just it that it has only one pair of parallel sides. Okay, only one pair of parallel sides. Strict definition. Okay, if you want to include it, then rectangles, parallelograms, or can also be trapeziums, but uh, it's not doable here. So strict definition. Now, so we can let our m vary from 1 to n minus 1, right? m can vary from 1 to n minus 1. So for this one, let's go down a little bit. Basically, if you want to make a tri uh, trapezium with a base with two parallel sides of length m and m, maybe say our m is here, right? Then for this one, our trapezium will have base of m and then it can be cut up into m square triangles and then this whole triangle has base n and then it can be cut up into m square triangles so what we can do is we can remove this top part and then what we will let we will be left with is something like this okay we have m and then we have n so the original has n square then we take away m square triangles so basically, this part can be cut into n square minus n m square triangles, okay? And basically, this is the gist of the whole question, okay? This is one of the solutions. Of course, there are other solutions. If you have any, you can write it down in the comments below. Thank you. And so what we need to do is we need to write a formal proof for it, right? So, okay, let me try and write a proof. Now, uh, this will be the formal proof for my question, and you're not... It might not be the best, but uh, I don't know. You guys can try and follow up. So if you guys do see any kinds of fallacies in my proof, please do also point it out. I'll try and ch uh, do better next time. I don't know. Okay, so let me write a formal proof. No, I think I'll need to create a new one. Okay, so proof over here. Let me maximize the wording. And then do something like this. Okay, now 
what we want to do is we, we write this thing entirely in word form. Consider, oh, con consider a triangle with base 1, okay, base length 1. If we want a similar triangle with corresponding base length 2, we can magnify the original triangle by a scale factor of to and split the uh, resulting uh, trapezium of a parallel length and parallel sides length one and two into three parts three smaller congruent triangles okay repeating this process we get that we get that uh for a triangle of base length n no it's okay because m and n are used it can be split up into k square k square smaller congruent triangles okay now second paragraph <laughs> to form a trapezium of parallel sides length M and N without loss of generality let M be smaller than N okay let M be smaller than N uh, essentially we create two similar triangles uh, we create two similar triangles, each with a corresponding base lengths of M and N, and remove the uh, remove the triangle with. Uh, base length m resulting in the formation of the uh, parallelogram no trapezium as shown on the right so I'll draw it later uh, since uh, the triangle with base length m can be split up into m square smaller congruent triangles and n square for the triangle with base length n for this uh, trapezium, we can split it up into, okay, n square minus m square, n square minus n square, smaller congruent tri triangles. And basically that's it. And you have QED. No, no. One more, one more sentence before QD. This applies to all uh, 
positive integers m n where m is smaller than n yeah and then we are basically done and then what we, what we are left with is basically just drawing a picture to illustrate it so okay so we have this one then we have this one right we have m and n and then what we well, then we remove this part so we would be left with this one yeah and this is basically it so yeah this is a long video basically uh i don't i'm not sure if i re uh explain this very clearly but if you do have any con points where you're confused you can just write down in the comments below and yeah i will see you guys in the next video so um please forgive me if this video is a bit uh absurd something okay so that's it we will see you guys in the next video ciao ciao